Now that we have the results set up in front of us, let's work on parsing the data. I'm going to be looking to get item number and the string I'll be looking for is item colon and then the item number that follows right after it. And we're going to be using the same thing that we set up right now, object ie dot document dot body dot enter text. So I'm going to hit F5 and hit enter, enter data so I can capture that information really quick. And usually what I do is I copy it from the text box, go to a notepad. This is the string, this is what we'll be working with. And again, what I want to capture is the item number that follows the string item colon. So I can easily see that it's just item item456. I'm just counting the length right here. And then I'm going to want to cut that off capture the next few characters up until the line feed char 13 and char 10 if you notice there's even a space after the item number so we'll look for char 13 minus 2 because you have character 13 and then the space that's right here and uh, right now I'll show you exactly what, what I mean now just a prerequisite to this video I'm going to assume that you've been following the web scraper VBA application video series if you haven't I would recommend that you look at videos 1.15 and 1.16 these are two small clips that talk about parsing HTML source code using the INSTR function and the MID function because in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to parse this but I'm going to be using INSTR and MID and I'm not going to cover those functions in detail I'm just going to show you quickly how I pulled the item numbers because I have the code already created so let me go on and go to my visual basic environment so we can take a look at it go to enter data and so here we, we had already put text box 5.txt is equal to the inner text the only thing I'm going to do different here is I'm going to put the data is equal to object ie dot document dot body dot enter text. I'm just setting it to a variable. And the first thing that I do is I put if INSTR the data item colon and a space. If that's greater than zero, then this is just telling me that the string item does exist. And because it does exist, we want to execute some code. I'm going to remove the do loop just for right now. I'll put that in back in right now. I'm gonna put a single quote right here. The first thing that I do is capture the item number and here's where you'll see the starting position, MID, the data. This is just the starting position as to where we start. That 6 represents the length of this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to give us our starting position and then the ending position, I don't really put one, I just put the length of the data. So I'll also do now message box item number you're going to see it's going to give me the item number plus everything else that's on the web page. So if I hit enter data, let me let it, let it load. 